It's the 9th of July, 1993. We're here at Brennermond in Northwich, the Lockstock Works. Carry out a survey on this 300 foot brick stack. Now I'll confirm that height once I get to the top. I think it's slightly more than 300 feet. And really what I'll be doing is making a climb up the external ladders that we've erected. We'll be just generally serving the condition right to the head. We'll be going around the head of the stack where there has been a problem identified. And then we'll be making a drop down the opposite elevation just to compare the condition. The stack has a fairly large rebuilt section at the top. I'll be measuring that when I get up there. And I'll be looking at the brickwork, the mortar pointing, the cap, the lightning conductor and anything else of interest. What I'll do now is just make my way to the base of the stack to begin the survey. This is at the base of the stack. We're on the east elevation. This is the ladder elevation. The diameter at the base is approximately eight and a half metres. I'm just looking around the base. So you can look above the blue door you can see uh, diagonal fractures coming through. There's also one or two just highlighted beside the ladders and up beside the, the blue entry also. Now all these tracks can be caulked with a ceramic rope. Once they've been raked out and then we can repoint them and get those fractures stemmed. These are the suit doors. If you look up above them, you can see fractures developing. There's horizontal, vertical and diagonal cracks. It's just a case of stemming them where possible. Now this is the west elevation. I'll be looking at this closer I'm going to make a drop down now. I think if you just look on the underside of the concrete floor, one or two further cracks. There is an awful lot of areas of um, void mortar joints also at the base there. And that's just looking up the west elevation. And what I'll do is go up the ladder side, the east, and just have a look at anything of interest. Now just prior to going up, I just want to talk about the lightning protection system. Uh, this system comprises of, uh, of two copper down conductors on opposite elevations. They're fixed approximately a metre centres. Now the current British standards require additional fixings um, metre over the first 20 metres. So that's metre centres. And then from then on up it ranges between 0.75 down to a half metre over and anything over 25 metres. So we'll need additional clips to uh, the current uh, system to begin with. The British Standard also states that there'll be coronal bands every 20 metres. The stacks being approximately 100 metres, so there'll be another four at least required going around the full circumference connected to the system. This tape's uh, 40 millimetres thick, uh, wide rather than about six millimetres uh, in thickness, so it's quite a quite a uh, robust tape, quite, quite a robust system. This is only 10 feet up on the east elevation, just come up to have a closer look at those diagonal fractures, now you can just see how, just get it in focus, how void those joints are, they're actually fractured up the side of the mortar and you know, they're quite deep cut at present, that's a fracture between the the, the flu entry section. 20 foot up, east elevation. If you just look left, you can see a number of joints requiring to be repointed. One or two areas there also. That's the concrete floor level. You can see there's a section of concrete with the exposed rebar. It's fractured uh, between the two castings of the, the floor and that just requires to be repaired before it deteriorates any further. 
there has been a problem with the, the fencing at one time and all you can see it's tied back and it may be worthwhile getting that repaired uh, while work's being carried out. Just look at those uh, soot deposit coming just below that. And there's obviously a leak there. Just a case of raking back. It's very soft indeed and repointing. There to foot, east elevation. You can see just how deep those joints are. It's about an inch or so. There are quite a number of joints in that sort of similar condition. Or two further up, just a case of patch pointing down at this level. 40 foot level. This is where the stack diameter decreases um, just slightly. And certainly look at the mortar joints around this level. They're fairly brittle and not too bad a state. 60 foot, east elevation. Just generally looking around the mortar joints and brickwork, it's in good condition. Now this is the level we'll first require a coronal band to uh, upgrade the lightning protection system to the current British standards. 80 foot, east level, east elevation rather. Just minor patch pointing required. There's some patch pointing being carried out there and it's in poor condition. If we want to rake that back to a good 10, 15 millimetres at least and repoint. Still there's been a patch pointing done at this level. It's only been base mortar, it's probably not even required. That's the 80 foot. 145 foot level, least elevation. I've come up to this level well, there's not been a lot to mention on the way up. That's maybe just a, a case of isolated patch pointing. There's a small area here and one just further up there in the centre of the picture. But really, it is a, a only isolated patch pointing. A lot of the mortar is in good condition. It's a brittle mix and it's standing up fairly well. That's just at the 145. 180 foot level, east elevation. That's a case where I've got an awful lot of void joints. You can see just how deep that one there is. Also, not isolated, but there are definitely sections. There's a section just above that I'll look at. 185 foot level. Again, we've just come across areas of void joints. It's starting to come more common now. Maybe I just right there. You can see. Those uh, joints don't look to be too bad. But as I say, it's isolated patch pointing. 210 foot east elevation. Just come up to a section where there's expanding bolts been left in. There's a section where they've been taken out. Now these points will be forming weak points in the chimney and it may be worthwhile just getting them filled in the compatible mortar. I would tend to take these bolts out and fill them also. 220 foot level in east elevation. Now I've come to a level where there's quite a number of open and deep cut joints. You see just parts of mortar coming away there. Section like that that we want to worry about. Well it's coming quite common across a, a band maybe about six courses high or so. It's not so bad round towards the north elevation, but certainly towards the south, it does deteriorate. Similar with just above me, but I'll get a closer look at that as I go up. 230 foot level, it's becoming more common, these open and void joints. There's a small fracture there just developing, you see it's just fractured through the mortar. And we really want to get rid of that problem before it uh, begins to really accelerate. You can see a problem there also. And really it's just a case where there's a lot more open joints than we've seen below. Again, the north elevation, not looking quite so bad. 235 foot level. Now from this level up, there is an awful lot of open joints. It's really quite a comprehensive uh, repointing work that's required above this level. You can see just how open 
and uh, deep cut these joints on and that's quite a depth there. So like it's the south, uh, rather the east, uh, towards the south that has deteriorated quite considerably. Even the north now starting to show signs of deterioration. There's a sectional patch brickwork put in there. You can just catch it in the picture. There's a large open void just above it. Now that'll be a weak point and we want to eliminate that problem as quick as possible. 245 foot level, neast elevation. This is where the bands begin. There's eight in all, They're about five foot centres. I'll talk about them in a minute. I just want to highlight this fracture. Now it actually starts out of reach, but I've highlighted the areas that we can get to. You can see just how much, there's quite a lot of leaking there. Now that mortar is extremely damp. It's extremely soft and that chisel is going in a good three or four inches without any friction. I think if you look further down you can see the staining on the brickwork and there's obviously um, some form of leakage coming through the mortar joints. What we do want to do is rake it all back and repoint it and stem these cracks uh, before they develop any further. Now I did talk about a rebuild section. That's why this area has been bandied, it perhaps not so bad uh, it wasn't as bad as this when the work was originally being carried out, but certainly it's deteriorated over uh, a number of years. The bands themselves, you can see the bolt fixings and the joints are all beginning to corrode. The area around there also. I really want to wire brush clean them, treat with a rust stabiliser prior to repainting them. Along the top of the bands there should be a flexible seal to prevent water getting in and causing corrosion from within. Uh, when the frost comes, it'll also freeze and cause even further problems. 255 foot level, still in the east elevation. Now you can just see how deteriorated this brickwork is now. There's fractures developing, there's areas of leakage. And really it's a case of quite a very comprehensive breaking back and repointing. Certainly from the 235 foot level up. Just looking above me again, further open joints and minor fractures. There's one just right through the picture there. 265 foot level. Just looking down, you can see that fracture. It develops right up to this level, right to the underside of the rebuilt section. Now from here on up, there's a it's all new brickwork. Again, uh, the, the northeast not looking too bad, but if I think we switch to the south um, east, you can also see a number of joints that have just weathered and deteriorated. And really, again, it's still quite a comprehensive repointing uh, work that's required. 270 foot level. Again, that's the southeast the elevation, and really. It does require to be repointed. You can see just it's approximately a centimetre, a centimetre and a half deep. Just weathered joints. Now what may be also considered once once the um, repointing has been restored back to flush with the brickwork is to apply a weather resistant coating to the stack in the form of boiled linseed oil. And there may be a, a, a single coat of clear and two coats of a system with red oxide put through it. And that will preserve the pointing and the brickwork in its present state for quite a number of years. 290 foot level, east elevation. That's looking towards the south. Again, that's similar picture as we've seen below. Certainly the north, uh, east doesn't look to be quite so bad. 305 feet, this is only maybe two or three feet from the head of the stacks, about 307 in all. We're only five feet above the corbel section. Now the uppermost five foot uh, or so is quite contaminated, you can see an awful lot of deterioration. And really what we want to do is paint that with a heat resistant uh, paint once repointing has been carried out. And what I'm going to do is just start at the east elevation, this is where our ladders terminate. And certainly at this side, it doesn't appear to be in too bad a condition. I think if you look just back there, you can see actually the, the cap lifting in a different level. And that's obviously a problem. Now just follow this line 
of this uh, cap also. It's on that course there. Look at the depth of that joint. I mean, it's just totally deteriorated with the, uh, the soup build-up. It's contaminated the mortar, which I'll show in a minute. And as you come round, you can actually see these upper four or five courses bulging out. Now, I will show a worse picture um, that we've found. But really, look at the joints lower down. They're uh, soft, they're deteriorated, and certainly uh, it's certainly a problem at the moment. Now this is on the east elevation. Now that's just looking round to, that's the southeast, the east where their ladders are. I think if you look at these joints throughout the top four courses, you can see the amount of soot that's just coming out of it. Now the sulphur in the, in the fumes has just uh, wiped out the mortar jointing. There's no binding, no strength whatsoever. Look at the condition of the cab, it's all lifting. There is a section here. You can see that that's just all soot build up. That chisel's going in a good five or six inches, perhaps even deeper. That's it all the way in. Now that is just extremely soft. And all that soot build up has really removed all this uh, mortar binding. Now this is the south elevation. First of all, look at the colour of the mortar. You can see that it's just, it's almost a bright orange colour. Just carefully, and you can see how loose that brickwork is. That's an entire second course coming out. Look at the brickwork below, there's no binding at all. There's an awful lot of bricks moving there. That's in very poor condition. That's the underside. Look at the contamination and the sulphur. There's no mortar binding, no bedding, and every single brick appears to be extremely loose. That brick course there, that's the fourth one down on that. It's about to come away also. And that's that section where we took the brickwork out. We're just going to move gently round, check the big work. Now look at that. An awful lot of movement there. Now that brickwork's actually come out a good inch or so, it's perhaps even further. There's no binding at all. And really the brickwork over the top five or six courses at least are just totally away. Some of my picture, just a few courses further around. That's is just putting the, the chisel into the joints. And that's actually a fracture that's running a good four courses at least. Up to this level where the joints have just totally uh, deteriorated away. It's nothing but suit and fumes that's binding this brickwork together at the present moment. Now I could go right round the entire circumference uh, testing the mortar, but the uh, mortar that's um, no longer there. I don't see any point in it. We know the condition on this side. We will have a look just in case. Um, certainly as a result of this deterioration of the brickwork, well, it's going to be 24 courses that are going to have to come off. That's right down to the corbel level. That's a case of rebuilding right back up. Now the metal cap at the top, it's a poor design and we'll have to work out a new um, system to protect this brickwork at the top of the stack. So I'll move round and just generally look at it um, slowly. Now this is just a picture overlooking the top of the stack. It's quite, a, it's quite thick across the head. Uh, I'll measure it in a minute. And the amount of suit build-up that's occurred up here. There is a problem with the current uh, cap, as we mentioned. And there's no skirting down the inside. Now if it's a case that we're going to alter this system, we'll have to introduce a, curtain, a skirting going down at least six inches or so inside the stack to prevent any of those fumes and soot getting into the mortar and just causing complete deterioration. Now all this soot build up will obviously have to come off but in future years, perhaps a yearly basis at least I would say, we'll have to clear off this soot deposit and it's it's all joined together, there's large sections, and if we throw it into the draft, we'll just show you how, mu how much the uh, updraft takes, and those sections of suit can be taken up and blown for quite 
a considerable distance. So we'll have to monitor certainly the, the top of the cap constantly when possible. This is us almost round at the, the west elevation. We're meeting a, a drop down this elevation, but just to look at the brickwork over the uh, top section that we've already talked about, you can see the amount of deposit that's coming through the joints. I realise it's extremely um, deteriorated and in poor condition. I realise that's the case right round uh, the full circumference of the stack at the top section. We're not going to move any brickwork simply because of how unstable the, the top section already is and we see no point of uh, deteriorating it any further. This is the 300 foot level on the west elevation. This is just below our temporary scaffold. You can see the number of joints that are cut back now. They're just generally weathered and they're quite repointed. Certainly right around this elevation that I can see. So that's the west, the northwest, and the southwest are quite to be repointed. This is just below the corbel. 290 foot level, west elevation. Again, I'm not going to continue too much on these uh, void joints. You can see how weathered they are. These uh, irons have been potentially be removed. They're just causing a, a hazardous problem. There's one or two just above my head also. Just repoint those sections where it requires to be repaired. I've talked about the LC. It does require additional fixing, certainly over this uh, top section, it should be at least half metre centres with coronal bands at 20 metre intervals. I'll drop down to the banded section, look at the condition there also. This is level of the bands in the west elevation, you can see the amount of void joints, there's also a number of fractures required to be caulked, and the general deterioration of the bands to this elevation. Now I'm not going to dwell on it for much longer, and I'll just drop down this west elevation, just picking up on any major points. But so far it's in similar condition, if not even worse, than the east elevation. West elevation, 200 foot level. And I think if you just, I can just step back slightly here. It's quite a con comprehensive repointing operation that's necessary. There's large areas of open and void joints throughout this elevation. Approximately 190 foot. I've highlighted one or two diagonal fractures. There's a section there of brickwork and mortar pointing that I've just uh, almost comprehensively um, been eliminated. See that section there, it's extremely deep. And there's even uh, fractured brickwork just below me, just one course. Well, that's the condition at the 190 foot level and really I'm not going to continue much further unless I become across even uh, worse areas. So we'll, we, I'll conclude on the west elevation so far that the knowledge is that the uh, condition is probably a bit worse than that than the east elevation. Just concluding the survey there, that's me back down in ground level. We know there's a major problem at the top of the stack where brickwork has become loose and mortar bedding and jointing uh, is just disintegrated. The suit build up at the top is also a problem and that's really the priority at this present moment in time. There is quite also quite a considerable repointing job, certainly above the 230 foot level of the stack on this east elevation and even uh, more work on the west. And it's quite a comprehensive repointing job. We've also mentioned uh, coating of the stack with a bottle of linseed oil. And uh, caulking of a number of cracks. But I'll conclude the survey there and uh, knowledge that the condition has been identified at this present time.